Hey everyone, today we are back with the next part of Dirty Little Secrets. And in this one, if you haven't seen the last one, go check that one out first. But in this one, we had to put an address in the last one. And Michael slash Rad wants to see us for something. I'm nervous. We are snatched. We are locked up in an attic in an apartment complex, apparently. Our poor character, poor Joella, and the baby and everything. I'm stressed for her. I don't even know what's going to happen to her, so we're going to find out. So let's get into reading this. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you aren't already, and let's start the drama. She's here like you wanted, boss. You may leave us. Is this Michael? Champagne? What game are you playing now? You locked me up for five days, and now you're offering me champagne? No, thanks. As you wish, have a seat. <laughs> okay, like, what is he wanting to- it's, I'm shook at, like, seeing him with his hair down. I hope you haven't been too uncomfortable these past few days. I'll be like, let's sing at the Four Seasons. Fantastic, like, sing at the Four Seasons. As feisty as always. Why, were you hoping a few days of solitary confinement would have broken me? Did he? Should we try a month? <gasps> I felt my confident at crack and slip as his threat of locking me in that room for another month hit me. Oh no, she's crying. He smiled then at how he had broken my tough act that easily. I knew that dress would look nice on you. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Are you afraid that I'm going to lock you in that room for the next three years? Okay, his face looks almost like, are you afraid? Like, I'm not, I'm not begging him. We're definitely staying quiet. I'm not a monster, you know. I'm a businessman. I don't want to have to treat you badly. Here's a deal. If you promise to behave, you don't have to stay in that room. What do you mean by behave? Well, no trying to run away for starters, or trying to call the police, or anyone else, obviously. If you agree to be reasonable, I'll let you have the run of the house. Would he really do that? Under supervision, of course. But why would he even take the risk of letting me out of the attic? Yeah, like, why would he just let her out? Why would he try to be nice? Was it an attempt to make me hate him less? Feel gratitude? Did he think that he would get make me cooperate and give him all my inheritance? Although I would have given him everything right that moment if I could. If only he would let me go and leave me alone. I, I was thinking, isn't there a way that I can transfer my trust fund to you right now? Perhaps we can have some kind of document written up. We could try, but the chances of being able to execute a document like that are unlikely. A judge would probably declare it not legally binding. Jesus, Rad, you can't keep me for three years. That's exactly what is going to happen. Now it's up to you how you're going to spend those three years. You can spend them locked up in the attic, or you can cooperate, be pleasant, and live in comfort as my guest in this apartment. It's entirely up to you. I thought quickly. Being outside the room would give me infinitely more chances of finding a way to escape. I can do that. Can you really? Okay, so what she's going to try to formulate a plan is what the chapter said. So now that she has to run in the apartment, we're going to see what happens. I can behave. I can behave. He stared at me for a while, not speaking. <laughs> he knows where it's an act. I was trying to determine if I would be obedient. Good choice. You were always a smart girl. He came close to me on the couch like it feels breath on my cheek up. Uh you need to back off with that stinky breath of yours, and you might even find yourself enjoying my company. He reached out to stroke my neck with one finger. It took every single ounce of me out to flint or shudder. Are you going to be staying here as well? Why, are you hoping that I do? No, we're really not. That might be interesting, but no. You know, that color really suits you. He laughed quietly. It was obvious that he was enjoying himself toying with me. It was, I was like a fun new toy being batted around by a cat. Are you missing your little boyfriend? I dug my fingers into my arms to contain the urge to hit him. I think you'll find that a real man is much more exciting. Take off that dress. Oh! What? No, go screw yourself. Oh, he better not do any of this. Uh-uh. It will be so fun to break you. Pity that I have a plane to catch. We'll continue this the next time. Uh, no, we're not going to be continuing anything. What's going to happen is my heel is going to go right in your crotchular area. Jesse, is that this man's name? Yeah, boss. Show her to her room. And he stirred out of the room without another word. Come on now. What an exhausting day, my God. Okay, well, on the bright side, we have a beautiful room. So I guess being captive, at least we have a nice freaking room. Boss got you some clothes in the closet. Wait, what? Are you going to lock the door? Yeah. What? Then what's the difference between this room and the attic? 
for us so that I didn't have to be locked up like a prisoner anymore. You can go out anytime. You just have to press that button beside the door and someone will come and open it. But why? Boss's orders. You're to be monitored when you're outside of this room, so I have to be babysat. Maybe start earning his trust and we won't have to babysit you, although that might take a while since you ratted him out to the feds. He slammed the door behind him and I heard the sound of a key turning in the lock. Oh no, we're locked in again. I was locked in again. I needed a plan. I feel so bad for our poor character. I mean, we upgraded rooms and I know we can like walk outside now, but we're getting out of here. First of all, I had to find out where this place was. I didn't recognize any of the buildings outside, and we were too high, way, way too high up for me to make out any of the street signs. But we hadn't driven that far, so we shouldn't be too far from the Bronx. Maybe we were still in the Bronx. Rad may rent or even own this place, but he didn't live here. That much he had confirmed. It was understandable that he wouldn't keep me hostage in his own primary residence. From the things that he had said today, however, it was obvious that he intended to drop by every so often. I realized that it was useless to escape this place if he wasn't around, arrested. I would just constantly be on the run and in hiding. That's what I was thinking. It's like, even if she got away from this place, she would just be on the run 24-7. And he would stop at nothing to flush me out. Exactly like he did before. The only way to be free of him forever would be for him to be to be apprehended. If only I could find out where I was and somehow manage to contact C. She could put this place under surveillance till he came back again. And I had to do it fast. So step one of the plan, find out where I was. Step two, contact C. And the final step, stay put until he came back. Okay, so we're officially on the next chapter, y'all. So we're gonna go, we just, woo, let's see what happens. I had no idea when Rad was gonna come back next, but I knew what I was gonna do today. Today's plan, scope out the apartment and find out everything I could about the place. Oh, it's a different goon this time. Okay, so it's not uh, Jesse this time. Yeah, I'm hungry. Come on then. There's food in the kitchen. Okay, so... Oh, there's pizza. There's some pizza. A box is empty, so he must have eat, already eaten. He had brought the pizza here with him when he came. Or did he order pizza delivery? Hmm. I wonder if there are knives in the drawers. So look at the top drawer. They're only plastic cutlery, damn it. What are you doing? Just looking for a plate. A plate? For pizza? Fancy, aren't you? You're right. Guess I don't need one. I can eat standing here in the kitchen, or I can take some pizza and go eat on the sofa. Okay, might be a good idea to try to be on friendly terms with my babysitter. That is what I was thinking. Like, if he trusts us, or, I mean, just likes us, he won't be so suspicious if we're just, you know, a little check here, a little open here, you know, eat in the living room. Free, because Cindy is a queen. I should definitely eat in the living room. <laughs> Just the awkward conversation we're about how to make. Uh, I like how he's like telling us we don't need to play for pizza. Like, okay, what are you watching? Wheel of Fortune. I'm Noella. I know. Are you going to be your living here? No, girly. I'm just your babysitter for the day. Rad must have them watching me in shifts. As I choose to look, I can glance discreetly around the room. Okay, let's take in what we need to so we can get out of this place. There was no phone anywhere in sight, of course. I glanced at the door. It was sure to be locked. I looked outside the windows, sky and other high rises. I didn't recognize any of the buildings. We were high up. Even if the windows could be opened, I wouldn't be able to escape that way anyway. Not unless I could fly. With the jolt, I realized that the goon had stopped watching the TV and was watching me instead. As if he could read my thoughts, he laughed sourly. Thinking of flying, little bird. Oh, WTF does minions are calling me that as well. You know what? Just be on good terms with him. I want to tell him off, but keep calm. I have to keep calm and for the baby. Look, if I'm going to be seeing you every day, at least tell me your name. It's Daniel. And if you don't mind, I'm watching a show here. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it then. That was as much interaction as I could take for the day. I tried not to cry as I fled hurriedly back to my room. After a few seconds, I heard the sound of the lock. I had been locked in again. I hid in the room for the rest of the day, thinking frantically. There had to be a way to find out where I was. Until my stomach was grumbling and I had to venture out once again for something to eat. Okay, I wonder which goon it is tonight. Let's see if it's still Daniel or some other goon. Time to ring the bell again for room service. 
What if it's Michael? <laughs> oh, it's the first one again. Okay, back to Jesse. What? Um, is there anything to eat? Yeah, in the kitchen. Oh, she, I had to click it. Like, she was frozen. I was like, girl. <laughs> okay. Is he watching? Hey, you're blocking the TV. Get out of my way. Ah, uh, OMG. Uh, seriously? What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely not going to join him in the living room. Fast food again. Are they going to feed me fast food for the next three years? This gives me an idea. But for now, I'm going to grab this and eat in my room. Okay, what is she thinking? Thankfully, Rad didn't come back that day. Hopefully, he wouldn't be back. Until I had a chance to carry out steps one and two of my plan. Okay, so we're at the next morning now. So something with the fast food is going to be an idea. Yeah. Is there breakfast? Come on. In the kitchen. Okay, let's see here. Bagels, not bad. Okay, so we're gonna chit chat with Daniel again. Hey, Daniel, what? Do you think we could maybe have something nice for lunch? What do you want? How about sushi or Chinese? You think this is the Ritz car, ungirly? I mean, you could just order a delivery. I'm sure your boss gives you as much food allowance as we need, right? He looked at me suspiciously. Just thought you'd be sick of pizza too. We'll see. Cool. Okay, so I think she's scoping out the areas of what food restaurants are around for the delivery. Okay, so she's just been out. What did you say you wanted, Chinese? Okay, go back in your room. Okay, so now I'll come get you when the food is here. So I think she's going to wait and see what the food... There was a click as Daniel locked the door behind me again. Now she just has to wait. And then nothing left but more waiting. Food's here. Okay, where is it from? I love Chinese food. Yeah, it ain't bad. Didn't put on the TV again and we ate in silence. Okay, is my idea not like the tea though? Like what's the tea? Like where is the food from? I thought that was the point. After eating, I stayed in the living room and watched Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Daniel. He seemed to really like watching inane game shows. I'm going to choose to ask the audience, Dave. I was starting to need to go to pee, but I had to wait it out. Finally, after about another hour and an episode of Supermarket Madness, he suddenly got up and shuffled towards the toilet. I had maybe 30 seconds before he finished peeing and came back. There was a slip of paper in the delivering bag, as I had hoped. I grabbed it quickly. Okay, so Panda Garden, and just like that, I found out the address where I was being held captive. 1200 Rivers Place, Suite 106, The Bronx. The toilet flushed. I quickly put the receipt back in the delivery bag and settled into my previous position. So we know our address now. She was smart. She got it. Making sure to fix the same bored expression on my face as he came shuffling back. Ooh, she's getting it. Do you mind if I change the channel? You're not going to put on some chick flick, are you? How about police car chases? Yeah, okay. I knew where I was. Now I just needed to find a way to get that info to see. Wait for me, Oliver. I'm coming back. Okay, everyone. So that was the end. So... A lot happened in this one. So Michael finally let us go into like the main apartment or something and not be in the attic anymore. Thank goodness, because that would have been miserable for our poor girl for even if she was in it for as long as she is now. So we have her rent the apartment. Well, I mean, supervised, but at least it's something. Our girl, though, a legend, a pregnant ex-boarding school icon legend used her CIA, too, used her smarts and found out where she's being held captive. So now all we got to do is get that info to see, and hopefully some things can happen and our girl can get rescued. Let's hope she does, especially for the baby's sake. We need to get her out of there. Ugh. Anyway, I really, really hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.